everyone, it's Jack here from LearnGuitarTunes.com. Today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you Ed Sheeran single, Drunk. Uh, it's uh, newly released. Um, Ed Sheeran's um, kind of the man at the moment. He had a really successful 2011. I'm sure 2012 he's going to be massive as well. He seems to be everywhere at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd um, teach you this little lesson. It's quite a nice song to play, relatively easy. Um, just to let you all know, this version that I'm going to be teaching you is probably the closest version you'll get to how Ed actually plays it. Um, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube as of yet who is either covering it with the version I do or teaching it. So this really is probably the closest you'll get to how Ed Sheeran plays it. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we'll start the lesson off with the intro and the verse, and we'll go through all of the chords, okay? Um, the intro starts off just on a G uh, chord. Uh, you'll notice I have no capo on, and the guitar is set in normal tuning, so um, this really is quite simple. The chords are um, relatively easy for a beginner as well, so you should, um, you should know these chords, okay? So we're going to do a G. <clears throat> So uh, you have your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the E, index finger on the 2nd fret of the A, and then either your ring finger or your pinky on the E um, of the 3rd fret, G. So it starts off like that. Um, it's got a bit of a strumming action, so it's kind of like... gets into the actual verse it's very much like down 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 and concentrating on the kind of three strings the E the A and the D and kind of coming onto the G a bit as well it says I wanna be drunk when I wake up like that okay so that's the first chord then from the intro into that verse is a G Wanna be drunk when I wake up on the right side of the wrong bed. So the chord after the D, the G, is a D. D. The D. You've got your middle finger on the E of the second fret, uh, your uh, ring finger on the B of the third fret, and then your index finger, the G of the second fret. And it's a quick change from the D to the next chord, which is an E minor, okay? And an E minor, you're using the two fingers here, your index and your uh, middle finger, and you're in the second fret here, and you're covering the A and the D strings. So there is a quick little change, okay, from the D to the E minors. I wanna be drunk when I wake up on the wrong side of the Wrong bed on the right side of the wrong bed. And every excuse I made up, tell the truth, I hate what didn't kill me. So the next chord in that verse is a C chord. For the C chord, you've got your uh, index finger on the B um, of the uh, first fret. And then you're covering your middle finger with the second fret of the D, and then your ring finger is on the third fret of the uh, A. C. What didn't kill me never made me stronger. Back to a D at all. Okay, so that's your verse, alright? So we'll go through it again one more time, the G. G, I only drunk when I wake up on the wrong side of the D E minor bed. And every excuse I made up, tell the truth, I hate what I didn't see. Never made me stronger, D, G. And then after that G, he then goes into what is like uh, a C, but it's called C additional 9, I think. So when you go into the G, it's on this. Stronger at all. And then again. So you remain in that G shape, and to do that C additional nine, you just drop your fingers down to the A and the D. Exactly the same shape, the G shape, okay? So you're just dropping it down to the A and the D, like so. So now you've got your middle finger on the third fret of the A, 
index finger second fret of the D and that's uh, your kind of C additional nine. And how he strums that, he, again it's quite a quick change between the two. I'll quickly play it, so from the C, just so you get an idea. <clears throat> well, didn't kill me. So that's kind of like your verse with that little bit of a little filler. You notice also uh, you can play a normal G. You probably notice that I'm I am bringing in my pinky. What I'm doing is I'm just playing my ring finger and my pinky on the third fret and covering the A and the B. I'm, for me, it's just preference. Uh, the sound I've got like the sound of it. But it's optional to do a normal G or the, the G that I'm doing here, okay? So when you go into that um, that strumming pattern in between the two verses, it kind of goes. And then he goes into that dun dun dun, down, down, down again. So he kind of goes, I'll, I'll kind of do it from the end of the first verse. Never made me stronger at all. Lipstick to me, so now I'm back here, sat here. I never wish I sober. I know I never hold you like I used to. I know I never hold you like I used to. And instead of going back to that C additional nine again, he goes a top string on the second fret like that. So he jumps. He goes, I know I never hold you like I used to. Into the chorus. So, what he's doing there is he's playing the G, and this is after the second verse, before the chorus. Um, like I used to. Index finger on the E of the second fret, so you're doing that kind of jump, it's like a step from a G to an E minor, a lot of songs um, have this in it, a lot of um, bands and artists bring this little kind of step from a G to an E minor, it's, it's quite a nice little effect um, and it brings the song nicely together, so um, I know I'll never hold you like I used to C additional nine, back up to G, and then into the chorus. Okay, the chorus I play it slightly different to what you may have seen on uh, YouTube and other people playing it. The first chord of the chorus um, starts off with an E minor. So again, you're covering your, your index and your middle finger on the second fret of the A and the D. Okay. Now, what he's doing here is, and I've seen him play this live, he's doing something a little bit different. Instead of strumming it or down, 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 he's mainly concentrating on the A and the E strings. And what he's doing is, it's a clever little thing, he's kind of muting it. Okay, that's muting. So, you're getting the noise or the sound out of the chord, but you're not getting a full sound or a full note because you're muting. The house gets What I'm doing is to mute it, is you get your palm with your hand and you pressure it on here. So you've got your palm at all times on the strings. Okay? But it's a little technique that takes a little bit uh, getting used to. Um, but within practice, it's, uh, it's nice to do, and it brings out just a different element of the song, and it brings out a different sound to the song. Um, so we'll go through that chorus, and um, I'll go through the chords with you. So the first chord is an E minor, like I showed you before. The next chord I do is like a C, but without the um, without the index finger on the B of the first fret. So I'm covering the third fret of the um, A string and the second fret of the um, the D string, and I'm literally just playing the A and the D on that 
that chord there. So the first chord, E minor, but a house gets cold when you, and then into that little C shape, cut the heat in, and up to G, without you to hold I'll be freezing, then he goes on to a D, the D I'm playing is along here on the 5th fret, and it's quite easy, all you're doing is you're covering the A and the, the E and the A of the 5th fret with your index and your uh, middle finger. So I'll quickly go through those chords with you in the, on the uh, chorus. And remember, we're only concentrating on the, the first three uh, bottom strings, the E, the A and the D, and we're doing like a muting. And it's down, 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 like so. So I'll quickly go through, and I'll name each chord as I'm doing it. E minor. But a house gets cold when you cut the heat in the C. And up to the G. Without you to hold, I'll be freezing. Up to that D. But a house gets cold when you cut the heat in. Without you to hold, I'll be freezing. You might find it easier to go up to that um, D on the fifth to. Um, Play play with your G like that, so you've got your uh, index finger and your middle finger on the G and when you slide up, bring in that ring finger onto the A by remaining, by keeping your middle finger on the uh, third fret of the E so it's the G there, so without you here's your ring finger, ready? without you to hold I'll be freezing. So then you bring in that index finger onto the A and that middle finger remains at all times on the E. Now we're doing the main chorus uh, when he sings about being drunk again. Um, the first part is Should I? Should I? Should I? Okay. At the end of the kind of pre chorus, um, replace the phrase like you'll be leaving. Back to G. Me, should I? Should I? Should I? Maybe I'll get drunk again. The should I bit is you do a G. So sh should I remain that? Remain your middle finger on that third, on the top string of the third fret. Slide down to the fifth. Should I? Should I? So again, E, fifth, and then slide down again, down to the eighth. Should I? Okay. Should I? Should I? Should I? Maybe I'll get drunk. Back into a G, and then E minor. Again. Um, when you do the slide from the G up to the fifth fret and the eighth fret, um, it doesn't matter if you bring in the strings, other strings with it, the open or the um, open strings, because it sounds quite nice. So it's like, should I, should I, eighth fret to feel a little love, C and then D. Back into your jump, you're strumming on the G again for the next verse, and that is pretty much all of the uh, song covered, I think. There, so we've done the verse, um, a kind of pre chorus, and the main chorus. And uh, this really is the kind of closest you'll find to how Ed Sheeran plays the song. Thank you for viewing the lesson, that's it now. Um, Ed Sheeran Drunk is done. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope it was easy to follow. Post in all your requests on the bottom of this video. Do check out my other lessons as well. And uh, like I said, give me a request. Cheers, bye now.